Abandoned in the wetlands of the Florida Everglades lies the ruins of a facility which burrowed over 10 stories into the earth. This is the Aerojet Dade rocket facility located near the Everglades National Park. In the 1960s, NASA was looking for a fuel design for the first stage of their Saturn V rocket planned for the mission to the moon. Aerojet was among the competitors vying for a contract, and they specialized in designing a solid fuel rocket. They constructed two silos to house their upside-down eight-story SL rockets, digging 120-foot concrete chambers into the Earth. The SL-3 was the most successful of their rockets, producing 5.8 million pounds of thrust, a record still held by any single motor today. However, near the end of the test, the rocket nozzle failed and was ejected. With it, hydrochloric acids were spewed across the surrounding wetlands and onto nearby farms, upsetting locals as they suffered crop losses. Ultimately, Aerojet lost to Rocketdyne's liquid fuel design. The SL-2 rocket still rests in place in the silo today.